Okay, guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Uh, do subscribe my channel if you people want to solve me such more problems from Hebelostatics. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that locate the center of gravity that is x bar, y bar and z bar of this homogeneous wire. So since it's a composite shape, so we can divide this wire into three segments. So let's say this part uh, which is in the y z plane is let's say segment 1. So this is segment 1, let's say this is segment 2. And this quarter circle is let's say segment 3. So then we have to locate the centroid of these three segments. So let's say the centroid of uh, this uh, segment 1 will be at its mid length, right? So its mid length is somewhere here. And let's say this is C1. So the distance of this C1 from the z axis will be uh, y tilde 1. This is y tilde. This will be y1 tilde. And similarly, its location from the y-axis is this distance. This distance will be, since it is along the z-axis, so this will be z1 tilde. And as we can see that this c1 is in the y-z plane, so its uh, x-coordinate will be equal to 0. So since we have to construct this table for finding the centroid, so we have to find the length of each and every segment. So we have to find the length of segment 1. So if I consider the, if, if we look into this whole assembly from this direction, so we will be able to see uh, that segment one like this. So this uh, quarter circle has a radius of 300. So this means that from here to here, from here to here, this length is 300. And this is 400, this is given, this is 400. So we need to find this length of this segment one, let's say that is L1. So we can find this by using the Pythagoras theorem. So we can say that L1 square is equal to 300 square plus 400 square. And if we take the square root, so we will be able to find the length of that segment one. So this comes out to be 500 mm. So the length of segment one is 500 mm. It's the x coordinate of the centroid of this segment one is zero. And we, we need to find this y1. Uh, Z1 is known since this C1 is uh, at the mid length. So if the height of this uh, triangle is 400 mm, so this Z1 will be equal to 200 mm, right? So this is at the mid length. So if it is at the mid length, Z1 is also half of this. So we can say that this is 200. And now we, we, we want to find this Y1. So again, if I draw that Y1 here, let's say that this is that Y1 tilde. So we need to find this y1 tilde, we need to, we can find this y1 tilde by using the uh, properties of similar triangles. So if, if this length is, uh, if this is the mid length, this is the mid length, right? So this is 200 and the whole height is, the whole height is 400. So if we apply the uh, similar triangle properties to this triangle, this small triangle and this large triangle, so we can say that the ratio of the corresponding sides will be equal. So we can say that y1 tilde divided by this 200, which is the perpendicular of that small triangle, will be equal to this 300 divided by the perpendicular of large triangle, which is 400. So 300 divided by 400 and if we cross multiply, so that will be 200. So this will give us uh, 300 multiplied by 200 divided by 400. So this gives us 150. So this is 150 mm. So now we can write that this is 150 mm. Similarly, this is segment two. Again, uh, both of these lengths are similar. Uh, both of these lengths are same. Segment one and segment two has similar lengths. So this is 500. And its centroid is also at its mid length. So if it is at its mid length, then uh, this whole composite body is symmetrical about the about this axis. So if it is symmetrical about this axis, then this length is also equal to this y1 tilde uh, y1 tilde. But this time, this we can represent it since it is along the x1 direction, or we can say uh, it is along the x direction. So this will be x1 tilde. 
So x1, we can write that x1 tilde is equal to y1 tilde, which is 150. So here for segment 2, this is 150. And this height, this height is again, this is, uh, this is, this is x2, right? This is x tilde 2, since this is segment 2, this is x2. And similarly, this is z2 tilde. So z2 tilde will also be equal to z1 tilde and that is equal to 200. So this is 200. So I will write that this is 200. And as we can see that this C2, the centroid of this segment 2 is in the, uh, in the xz plane. So its y coordinate will be equal to 0. So the y coordinate is 0. Similarly, the segment 3 is this quarter circle. So the length of this uh, quarter circle will be uh, 2 pi r divided by 4. So since 2 pi r is the length of the, uh, the full circle, that is the circumference. So this is pi r divided by 2 and pi and the radius is 300 and 2. So this is 300 divided by 2 is 150, 150 pi. So 150, 150 multiplied by pi. So this gives us the length of that quarter circle, which is 471.24. This is 471.24 mm. So let me write it here, 471.24 and from table, we know that the centroid of the, uh, the quarter circle will be somewhere here. And that uh, distance from this point, from the center of the circle is for, uh, for the arc, that distance is 2r divided by pi. And for the solid area, the distance is 4r divided by 3 pi. So since we, we are having the arc, so the distance from this line will be 2r divided by pi. So we can say that uh, that this distance, this distance is 2r divided by pi and this distance is 2r divided by pi and let's say that this is the centroid of segment 3. This is segment 3. So this will be x3 tilde and this will be y3 tilde. So x3 tilde, we can write that x3 tilde will be equal to 2r divided by pi. Let me confirm it again. That is 2r divided by pi, so 2 and 300 and divided by pi, so this is 600 divided by pi, 600 divided by pi, so this gives us 190.98, so we can say that it is approximately uh, 191 mm. And similarly, y3 tilde, y3 tilde is also equal to 2r divided by pi, so again it is 191 mm. And as we can see that this C3 is in the xy plane, so the z coordinate of this C3 is 0. So x3 is, x3 tilde is 191, y3 tilde is 191, and z tilde is 0. So now we have to take the product of uh, this x tilde with the length. Uh, so we will fill up this table, then the product of y tilde times l, we will fill up this table. And similarly, z tilde times l, so we will fill up this, right? So I, I have constructed an Excel sheet and I will put all these values in Excel sheet and that will automatically find the, the product and the summation that we are required. So the length of segment one is 500, so 500 and this is 0, 150 and that is 200 and similarly this is 500, 150, 0 and 200. And this is 471.24, 191, again 191 and 0. So now uh, this is the table which is constructed automatically. I have put the formula in this Excel sheet. So this is x tilde times L. So 500 into 0 is 0 and similarly 500 into 150 is this and 471.24 is this. And then we uh, add up all these x tilde times L products. So this is the, the summation of we can write that this is this is the summation of x tilde times l. This is the summation of x tilde times l. This is the summation of y tilde times l, and this is the summation of z tilde times l. And now, uh, as we know that x bar is, as we know that x bar is the summation of x tilde times l divided by the total length. So the total length of the segments is 1471.24. Uh, 
So this sum divided by this uh, total length, so that gives us x bar. So let's confirm it. The x tilde times L, this is 165, this is 165006. Uh, so 165006.8 divided by the total length that is 1471.24 and this gives us 112.15. So x bar is 112.15 and similarly y bar is 112.15 and z bar is 135.93 which is approximately 136 mm from the origin so these this is the x bar y bar and z bar of the centroid of this uh, composite wire so i hope you people would have understood this problem solution uh, do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Statics.